Time I got some reinforcements down here. Remember that lost pirate den in the north? That's a small affair compared to this place. Our good friend Minister Lochnir was here too. Those Egypts who followed him are all lost now and under his command. What about you? Learned anything new? Sir Gawain is lost too. What? Ah, you're joking me! This true heir everyone's so excited about is actually a soulless ghoul. Ah, I guess now the Minister's plan makes sense. That bastard Lochnir is planning to turn all of Monarch's bluffs to lost. I guess though the scariest part is how close he is to succeeding. They're clearly making preparations here to launch an attack on Pridewin. Hordes of lost, stockpiles of explosives. I'd say they're about to make their move. We have to stop them. Well, we've discussed this partnership before, haven't we? I get the lay of the land, and you do the battling part. You'll be facing long odds, but you're like a lucky anchor. I'd consider making a wager on you, regardless. Thanks, I guess. Not a problem. I'll always tell it to you straight. I'd suggest you destroy as many explosives as you can, and take out that glowing altar too. Now! What would you have me do? Go warn Pridewin. Now there's an order I don't mind following. I could use a cup of mead after all this crawling around. I'll go and tell the Night Region what's what. But my hopes go with you. It's better if these bastards never set sail. What folly we have committed! We unleashed the most tragic magic by giving in to Fatima's whims. We made a talking mirror that berates me for my decisions every minute, every hour, every day! It just doesn't stop! Have you tried breaking it? I had to. Her words are still pounding in my head. I broke her heart, and now I've broken her mirror. Maybe that's why she won't stop haunting me. Do you have happy memories of her? See, si, I do. Fatima was the joy of my soul once. I left Spain, left my family because of my love for her. I love my querida even when we fought, even when her cloudy gray eyes turned into a storm. Hold the memory, break the mirror. Mm, you are right. She speaks through another large mirror in the cove that's filled with pirates. I'll need your help to break it but I must get her taunts out of my head. It was nothing short of a plague. They kept coming in droves, and it was all we could do to hold them back. It was sure Faith had a role to play here, as it does in the tales back home. I tried to guide the people towards their faith by giving them something tangible to focus on. I made sure each of them had an amulet to see them through. Like the stories of old, we'd weather this plague together. They trusted me, and I let them down. I should have gone into this with clearer eyes, and because of my failure, they have all fallen. I, Dio Musa, must find someone strong to gather their amulets and give them proper rites.
How is it that you could love someone, and yet living with them can slowly destroy you? This island didn't help. But oh, Fatima, I miss you so much. Surprised to see me, are you? Brushing the dirt from my armor was no easy task. But after your friend Grace told me you were here alone, I had to come. You'll fight after all. My heart was conflicted. But in the end, I took an oath as the protector of the kingdom, not a single ruler. I won't forget that again. Of course, it seems I arrived too late. Hearing the ruckus and seeing the smoke, I assume you succeeded in disrupting their war preparations? Indeed. Pridewen is safe. Well, there's something to be grateful for. Even if I am a little disappointed I missed all the action. Perhaps we don't stop there. You see, I know where Sir Gawain and Lochner are conspiring in darkness to steal all our souls. They're in Gawain's ancestral home, Corbenic Castle. I like where this is going. I thought you might. It is indeed best for Pridewind that the Night Regent is safe and fortifying the keep. You and I are more... expendable. Make no mistake, Gawain is every bit a Knight of Legend, and Lochnir's a diabolical snake. This will not be an easy fight, but it is a necessary one. You had me at expendable. Ha! Then let's get on with it, shall we? Corbenic Castle is just across the water to the west. I will go ahead and scout the castle's defenses. Don't take long. Here we are. Home to one of King Artorius's greatest knights and his heir. It was a bastion of valor back then. Today it's a monument to darkness. I look to the ramparts and I recognize many knights. Now lost. They were dear friends. This will not be easy for me. You don't have to come. No. But I do. This is my duty, and I am sworn to it. You can attack from the gates, and I will use a hidden entrance on the other side of the castle. Your courage is unquestionable, and I've witnessed your prowess in battle. I will fight my way up from below, and we will confront Gawain together. Sounds like a good plan. Gawain and Lochnir must be defeated, whatever it takes. Godspeed to us both, friend.
Margot Dubois the Steadfast, knighted by Artorius, seated in the fifth seat of the round table. The resolved scout, keeper of the scepter, crest of the lark, bequeathed this day on a scarf of olive silk. The helm, the bow, and the crest of Margot will mark the Dubois family history. Through generations, the Dubois name will be welcome in the halls of Artorias. They must be informed that they can uphold this honor. My liege, it is now my honor to join you. Without reservation, Raise your sword. For the glory of Avalon. <laughs> Until the end of eternity.
I am sorry I arrived late to Gawain's Hall. The Lost Knights fought fiercely and with cold resolve. I arrived only in time to see Lochnir fall. Your courage and valor have spared Bridewind from a dreadful fate. The Knight Regents will undoubtedly want to cover your chest in medals. She'll remain the Regent now. Of course. She has led us admirably for many decades now, and the people adore her. Probably even more after this. With Gawain exposed and defeated, however, the question of the true heir is settled. It might clear the way for a new monarch. Queen Jinjay has a nice ring to it. Now that is an excellent idea. I can think of no one more deserving. A new queen to lead us into a new age, with new hopes and vision for the future. I will go to Pridewood to share Gawain's sorry end, and I will discuss your suggestion. You must come too. If there is to be a coronation, you must attend. Really? You found something that belonged to my family? What is it? Who are they? Where can I meet them? A Dubois lady was a famous knight. Oh, give me that! Sure, she was a prestigious knight in the time of Artorius himself. I can't believe it. This knight business runs in my blood. Thank you for bringing this to me. I'm going to keep it as a reminder. Hello, friend. I hope this day is treating you with kindness. Would you have time to help me, fellow? Regrettably, the people I was trying to protect have turned into the lost. I have your journal. May fortune be with you. I'd come to the settlement to find help, but no one had time to listen. It takes a special person to go out of their way to help someone else. Uh, did you find everyone's amulets? I did. Here they are. Thank you, friend. You have put my mind at ease. The problems on this island are larger than those I've experienced. And one can't use their hand to force the sun to set. This is already more fanfare than I had hoped for. As far as coronations go, I would say this is fairly modest. A ceremony befitting our humble new queen. Queen? I'm not sure I'll ever get used to hearing that. No more stalling, my queen. People of Pridewin, honored guests. Together, we have endured great hardships. But despite it all, a steady hand has guided us through the storm. May I present to you... May I present to you... Queen Jinje of Brightway.
I'm glad you made it. We waited as long as we could. I think the people of Pridewen wanted to ensure all the preparations for Gawain were put to use. But it wouldn't have felt right without you. This victory really belongs to you, truly. And Priscilla's account of your heroics only reinforces that. We all did this together. <laughs> I'll take the compliment. I'll need all the confidence I can get if I'm to rule this land as a monarch. I still haven't quite got used to the idea. I was hoping your friend Grace would make an appearance today, but I guess she meant it when she said she was heading north. But what's next for you? You would make a fine knight, and we sorely need to rebuild the order. But I also understand if voices are calling you elsewhere. I hear a voice. It's corruption. You hear the voice of corruption? I've heard legends of its insidious torment. What an awful burden you must bear. I had no idea. In the days of Artorius, they say it was the voice of Myrdin that called knights to evil. It drove them mad. Is there any way to fight it? I know of no cure, but there's an old man who comes to Pridewen now and then. He goes on and on about corruption. Some say he's deranged, but I see wisdom in his eyes. He fishes the East River. Perhaps if you seek him out, he will help you. Miserable thieves! Killing me is one thing, but stealing my life's work? Idioti! It was my own fault. A foolish Giacomo. Curse my trusting soul! This means no traveler's rest. Traveler's rest? What's that? A place of rest for weary travelers, of course. I am Giacomo Altoiti, architect. Perhaps you have heard of me? No? Well, you would have if my workman hadn't stabbed me in the back literally and run off with my design notebook and tools. What's so important about these designs? So many survivors on this island have no home, no roots. I long to provide that for them. Safety is always the biggest concern. I can create that safety on a much smaller scale. Is that why your workmen betrayed you? The bastardi left me with nothing. But you're here, so there's hope. The innkeeps of workers a few days ago discussing a notebook of secrets. Suspicious, no? If you begin the hunt, I'll finish business here and follow.
too many eyes in the settlement, too many who might know him. I need time to figure out that gullible fool's notes. If he was right, we'll rule like kings on this island. I'm moving ahead to get everything ready. Wait for a few hours, then follow to the second camp. I'll leave more instructions for you there. fool thought he could power of these ancients think he was on to something we just need to start of him particulars and get them rebuilt once everyone knows where that can provide safety flock to us gold azoth women power everything will be ours for taking meet me at the camp near chasson steep we'll divide plan our next move Is that my notebook? Oh, grazie. And what of those coglioni who stabbed me and stole it? The one who had it was corrupted. Ha <laughs> ha! A fitting end to his greed and treachery. What's next for you? Now the work begins. The safety of a traveler's rest will welcome those weary from their journeys. My goal is for everyone on Eternum to have a home of their own. And to that end, take this for your own home. You're cunning and resourceful. I like that. But do you truly understand my work? Four walls, a roof, there's not a home. Safety, warmth, comfort. Now that's a home. A home does sound nice. It is sanctuary. A haven that beckons after a long day. It anchors you to the land, and spirit shrines can deposit you gently inside from anywhere on the island. To truly understand, you must purchase a home of your own. Isn't a home expensive? Friend, opportunity abounds here. Look around and you'll find prospects for coin. Once you have a home, use the furniture I've given you. Create your own space. Then return, for more work remains to be done. Raising the capital for your first home may not be easy, but I promise you, the benefits are worthwhile. What's so great about owning a house? Ma... Now what kind of question is that? What's not great about home ownership? A place to store your belongings, a reliable place to fast travel and respawn? Well, it's simply madness not to own a home if you have the gold. 